Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Back to the Drawing Board. I am Ted Davies. This is Ted Davies Artistry. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend. Um, if you guys are uh, liking and sharing this out, that would be awesome. We would appreciate it greatly. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about um, page one of a comic book. Uh, we talked about splash pages last week on um, Comics Unlimited, and we wanted to make sure I kind of wanted to go into that segue a little bit more uh, about how I uh, produce my comics and how we do that. So let's look into that today. Uh, get your pencils ready. Like I said, good morning, everybody. I wanted to make sure that... Uh, yeah, we touch base on what uh, what's going on. I've got uh, we're working currently on Retrieve Three, uh, Book Three, um, and it's it's going good. Um, I've got everything laid out, but I want to get the the kind of the the first page layout, the splash page today. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in depth. Um, I also want to talk about our sponsor, Cashman's Comics. Uh, Cashman's is down in Bay City, Michigan. John Cashman has been there 26 years, celebrating it uh, this week. And uh, so check out everything that you need, all your comic needs, uh, brand new stuff, any indie, independent uh, comics as well, mine included. Uh, my prose books as well as my comic books are sold there. So check out uh, what uh, John does and say hello to Petey, the guard dog, uh, the mascot of the of the comics book of the comic books. So check him out. Uh, Petey's the best. So cashmanscomics.com. And uh, yeah, so we're there. We want to talk a little bit about uh, today before we get started. Um, I do a little bit of a segue. Good morning. Like I said to everybody, we'll get to your comments in a minute. Um, a segue on uh, what's in the box. What's in the box, Ted? You know, you guys know that I, I sell vintage comics and I'm doing a lot of, uh, as you can see around me, uh, we did a little bit of a studio set up here a little bit differently. I've got a few things that I'm changing up um, from graded comics to, you know, my collection to things that we're going to be selling. So, but I want to make sure that you guys see some of the the products that we are selling. Um, but every week, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be pulling a small amount of books out of a box uh, that we have uh, for collection that are going to be up for sale. So this is what we call what's in the box. So we are going to be talking about that. So real quick, what we're going to do is I'm just going to split the screen here and we will talk about what's here. Okay, so... We have uh, Hulk variant number one. These are all going to be up for sale this week. So just check this out uh, real quick and we will uh, get the prices and that out as well. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these. Uh, of course, if you get uh, uh, to me um, as part of Ted's tribe before uh, Wednesday, but before the close of business at five o'clock Eastern time on Wednesday, um, we'll get you a little bit special pricing on this as well uh, before they go live. So we've got a Hulk variant number one. Check out what uh, was, this is a one of the more recent vintages, but check out uh, a little bit more about that. We've got Namor number two, uh, the first mutant Namor. Big, a lot of speculation on these particular um, uh, runs because uh, Namor is going to be, well, I think is going to be in the Black Panther, if I'm not mistaken. So check that out as far as collection goes. These are uh, near, near mint condition. Uh, we have number four, Namor as well. And then it hops up to eight. And this one's number nine, the first mutant Namor. These are actually really nice covers. I was really impressed with this. So this is kind of like uh, Ted's library a little bit where we're doing it with uh, comics. So, and this is, like I said, what's going to be up for sale this week. Um, we've got number 10. Then we've got uh, number one, Swamp Thing. Brightest Day Aftermath, The Search for Swamp Thing. Really, really cool art. Uh, Jonathan Van Ken, um, man, this, this is really, really beautiful. So check this out. Um, again, first issue, Green Hornet. Here's some for your fans. Uh, some of the old school fans will dig the Green Hornet. Uh, this is number one. And uh, check, I love the greens on this. This is just awesome. So, but yeah, the, again, they're impeccable shape. Black Panther, number one. Um, Ramita Jr. did this, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And this one uh, is a limited edition. Uh, this is going to be, again, uh, into the, uh, into the, or onto the sale, I should say. Out of the collection, into the sale. 
So we got Generation X number one. You can check that one out too. A little bit call back to the 90s with that foil. A little bit harder to keep those uh, up to grade, but X Men Forever number five, and we've got uh, we've got Storm there. She's oh, I mean, such a great cover, such a great cover. Uh, all new X Men. Uh, that's a pretty sweet one. I really like that one. Number three, check out that one too. Join the revolution on that. X Men thirty nine and Iron Man two eighty one. Check that one out, too. That one's a sweet cover. I like that one, the Samurai. And then, of course, Fantastic Four 374. Great cover. Really great cover on that one. It's got everybody you could think of on that. Check out that one, uh, Fantastic Four versus the Fantastic Four. That's uh, on 374. So those are what's in the box this week. Hopefully, you guys, if you're collectors, we find something that you need. Of course, I want you guys also to check out on Glenn B. Fleming's Amazon page, Comics Unlimited, uh, because that is our publication that we do offer now, international publication. Check out everything that Glenn and I are doing on this. Uh, just a great book. I'm really looking forward to the, the next the next copies that are going to be coming out soon. Um, yeah, and if you're interested in advertising that, let us know. All right. Let me get back to this screen for a second. Uh, let's see. Where are we at with everybody? Good morning, guys. Uh, let me say hi to everybody here. Thanks for putting up with me for a couple minutes. Carl, good morning. Glenn, hey, I was just talking about you. How are you doing, guys? John Celestri, another legend, uh, another legendary artist uh, that I'm, I'm very pleased to have a podcast with. Uh, Feed the Beast will be, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It's on this channel as well as John's channel. Check out everything we're doing with that. It's a, it's a great service uh, to the community. Uh, I, I believe I'm glad that we're part of it, John. Um, okay, let's see what else we've got here. Donna, we got Eric. How you doing, sir? Happy birthday again, sir. All right. Um, cool. I think we're about there. And Frostbear, what's up, Pete? How you doing, sir? We're doing really good here. Um, things are good. Things are all right. We've got uh, a little stressful yesterday. We got it worked out. Uh, thanks to Pete. <laughs> so we got everything worked out with that. So... Uh, things are going good with that. Check out everything as far as the studio goes. I'll have this uh, split, not split screen, but uh, a little bit of the things that we're going to be doing here um, with some of the vintage comics. This is a lot of fun. This is a hobby for me. And, you know, it's a business. And I want to make sure that you guys uh, know if there's something that you need, let us know with, as far as vintage comics go. But this is back to the drawing board. And this is about drawing. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to switch over to the screen. And we are going to draw. So uh, the first thing is, let me get these headphones out real quick one of the things about um the way i set up my comics and everything uh i have let me move this up here i've got it set up so that uh since we're talking about splash uh pages and that these are the second printings of the book by the way of uh, retrieve which are available if you guys are interested you can check that out on, on uh, ted davies artistry.com the uh the first, the splash page itself, I, I try to do it as a more so not necessarily, uh, we, we talked about it being kind of a shock factor on a lot of these uh, splash pages and what um, what Marvel and what DC were trying to do years ago. But I think that, um, you know, what I try to do is try to inform the, the reader. Uh, I try to go through and maybe go back a little bit, um, preface the, the last comic. So what I've done here is I'll do something of interest for like the first one I did here. I, obviously, I have all the writing in here, but I'll do something interesting as far as making the the drawing itself um, almost abstract in a way to where it's like, that's interesting. What the hell is that? Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm trying to, to do with each of these pages that I do. So. When you when you go through the story, though, you'll understand what that page is. But that's how I do my my um, splash pages, my first page. When I'm laying out, like on this one in book two, um, I have you can see it with this one. This one was uh, part of the mechanics of uh, of the retrieve system. And then this one is actually, when you look through it, you'll understand it. This is actually one of the androids that's in the, uh, actually one of the, I guess, AIs that's in the system. It's not Archimedes, but it's one of the security protocol, if you want to call them that, uh, droids, if you want to call them protocol. It's more of a, it's more security than anything else. 
but once you it's very abstract like i said you might not know what that is and then you're you're interested hopefully with that very subtle i'm trying to get it but i want to make sure that people read the backup of what the story was from page or from uh, book one so keep in mind that that's that's what we're trying to do here on book three it's a little bit different book three we're actually going to be i it's going to be the first time i'm bringing in a character uh from the book and uh, I think that because it's paramount that we uh, that we have this character front and center because of the storyline of what uh, this guy is. This guy's uh, this guy's an interesting cat. Um, his name is the Chairman. He looks kind of like Colonel Sanders a little bit. If you guys can see that or not, I'll bring it up. Here. But he is a uh, very. Um, you guys are going to learn a lot about him. Um, he's the head of the UN. Uh, what they what they consider the United Nations in the in the next uh, thirty years. Um, he's very. Um, I, I think that he. It's very. I don't know if the right word. I, I don't want to give too much away about it, but he is a very interesting character. That's going to be very pivotal to the story. Um, yeah, right, Eric. <laughs> For, that's what I was thinking when I said that. Um, yeah. So, hey, Grant, what's up, man? Good morning. Um, so with that, the the chairman is a. Uh, he's, he's actually very disconcerting, uh, you know, is. You meet people in life that you you just don't have the right feeling about sometimes I might be that person. Who knows, but you, you got you got some people in life that just aren't quite what they seem. And this this person, this this character is very much a part of that in the in the retrieve world. So the chairman, um, I'm actually going to be doing a, a visual on him on this uh, page for the splash page. Um, real interesting character. Like I said, he's very. Uh, yeah, he's just an interesting. Um, yeah, interesting is the best word because I don't want to give away the full story. And as the story develops, you're going to see more about him and, and where where he where he goes into the story is is pretty. Uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know if you guys are going to dig it or not, but I, I I like him for the fact that it makes it a really interesting uh, story, but not too. Uh, it doesn't give a whole lot away. You're going to have to keep reading the books, obviously, but it, it'll be like. Oh, damn. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So that, that's the way I'm, I'm hoping it goes from. But in any case, the um, I've already set up the borders. This is a 12 by 18, um, again, 100 pound uh, watercolor piece of paper. Uh, I've already bordered it out. I don't know if you can see that line or not. It's a very thin line, uh, half inch all the way around. So it's 11 by 17 inside corner or inside I don't really, I'm not worried about too much of the centering and all that. I kind of, I can eye it on this. The cover's a little different, like we talked about. If you haven't seen that video, go back and take a look about the cover, how it's divided in half and middle and everything else. I know I like to keep a section on the right um, for for text in that, because this being the, the uh, attachment point with the book, even if the drawing is is into the into the crease, so to speak, the text won't be the text will be on the outside of the page so when you're looking at this you've got the crease here and then all the text is on the right so we won't have to worry about it not fitting because that was the biggest part of uh I, i'm it's a learning curve <laughs> for a lot for a lot of us independents which i've learned um but in any case so i'm going to start sketching here you guys um watch and enjoy so hopefully it's uh hopefully it looks good to you so
And like I said, this is going to be more of an abstract uh, for him. It's not going to be an exact uh, drawing. Once I get going here, you guys, I'm going to throw some color on here so you guys can see a little bit better. Sorry, it's so light, but... Uh, Carl, yeah, actually, let me pull that up real quick. Um, now, I I didn't uh, at first. I on, on the first two books, I actually had a 9 by 12 and it actually, I had to stretch a lot of panels to try to make them fit. Just doesn't work well at all. Um, but that's part of the learning curve. Uh, the larger ones, the larger format sizes, um, 11 by 17. Jump in, guys, whoever, uh, like Eric, Grant, all you guys that are creators, Glenn, um, you make it a little bit larger, then you can scale it down. Uh, it's easier. It, it's better for pixelation. There's a lot of reasons why, but yeah, that's, that's basically, I mean, that's how I do it. Like I said, if you guys, it's any different for you guys, let me know. And thanks for liking and sharing this out guys. Appreciate it kindly. Everybody on uh, Twitch too. Thank you guys for stopping in. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm really excited about the uh, the script that um, that we've been working on. Um, Craig and I've been working on. We've got two of the scripts down, or two, I should say, two of the. Uh, show you that real quick. We got two of the full scripts here that are coming out uh, soon here. So we got that uh, working and moving on that. I don't know. Uh, I think the third one's already in the works. So that's. That's good. We're trying to get that all squared away, and I'm I'm looking forward to final, hopefully finalizing that soon, to where we're we're getting closer to to full development uh, and and time. But it's you know it takes time. We've got a lot lot of things that we've been working on the last uh, year, and it's great though. Very exciting. It's good good exciting time right now for for retrieve as well as us and the the storyline. I know Craig's really. He's really knocked it out of the park. The storyline uh, that I've got is is uh, infancy compared to what he's brought to it. And I'm really excited to see what you guys think once it starts getting rolling. I think it's really going to be a really something that people are going to be talking about for the for the good. And um, it's going to be I know it's going to be a binge watching event once we get things. Um, once people start really getting interested in the uh, the storyline itself. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited. Okay. So we got, again, I'm just trying to draw, I'm just trying to get a, an eye, an, not an eye on him, but just trying to get, so I can start throwing some colors down. The bat, the, this ground here is going to be in a yellowish tone. Again, I want it to jump off the page a bit. And we're going to be kind of just seeing how, how that works. I, again, the, Part of the the thing about watercolor is you don't know, and you have some control of it, but you know it's it's to the point where just go for it. You know, let me get some of this. I'm just getting some water on the page here. Now you'll notice in the in the comic book, it's very uh, there's a lot of sharp lines to it. It's very clean, if you want to call it that. It's not really clean, but. You can see the it's more graphic. I'm not going to be to that point. It's like I said, it's going to be more abstract. It's going to make him look. Uh, he's not going to have the same colors uh, as what he's in the book. I'm changing that up um, because I want to make sure that it's uh, it's just it's not the same. It's it's not what I I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to build a mood here that's a little bit different than what uh, what the normal. Um, like the comic book is, and you'll see it in a second what I'm trying to do.
So I think somebody did try to draw on those tiny squares. Actually, Carl, I think that they, uh, <laughs> once, let's see, Eric says, once it's scaled down, each full 11 by 17 will have panels for, yeah. Yeah, and you still do. You, I, I know some guys will actually draw each panel and apply it to 11 by 17 page. So, and I'm, I've known guys that have done that for many years digitally. So I don't know if that's, you know, um, it's teach our own, I guess. But I know that as far as trying to get the, uh, the cover and everything else, you need to really, you need to really have it, uh, really have it down. Can you guys still hear me? Okay, it's saying something on my on the uh, second camera that it lost it lost a bit or lost audio, but I think it's fine. Whatever. So yeah, I'm just getting the basis down right now. Um, a lot of the things too on this, I'm just trying to build a mood that because you know behind the scenes, so to speak, this guy's a little bit uh, more behind the scenes than. And uh, he should be possibly, but yeah, we'll see him in a second here. And to carry on with the theme of the uh, the the cover. If you recall, um, it's going to be very flame oriented, very, uh, yeah, very, you'll see it again. These, these lights kind of drown it out. Sorry about that. But... Just give me a second here. I'm just reading comments. So, and again, the, the DPI, the resolution, some of the stuff I do is, you know, 600 or better. I, some of them, some people don't like that. <laughs> I've had people complain because they can't download the file, but whatever. It's, uh, it's something that, you know, I usually 300 is fine, but there's, there's some that I've, I've had to reduce just because they can't, they don't like the. They don't like that that much it takes too much memory or they can't open it whatever but okay we'll let that dry up a bit a lot of people driving down the road today man jeez 
everybody went home for the weekend or for the week. They were up here for July week, and now they're all their contractors and that are coming over and fixing their houses because they they're back downstate. <laughs> rough life uh for some um some more blue here And I'm trying to get this really grainy. I've got a, a little bit of a reasoning behind it. So you'll understand it eventually here. Yeah, I heard, I saw that uh, that post that you had about that, Carl, that somebody had bottle rockets bouncing off the house. We've had some huge fireworks out here. People have been lighting them off like mad. Yeah, they didn't blow up their vacation home. We did have a, a, a fire in one of the houses across the road, though. They, um, they had, uh, I don't know if it was a circuit by the dryer. Nobody was in the house, so thank God. But um, they... Uh, we thought it was like lint in the dryer or something, but it ended up, um, it was, uh, I think it was, a uh, uh, some type of, um, amp circuit or something. I don't know what happened, but they ended up, uh, everybody was out here. Every type, every, we had, I think three, three fire truck, the wreckers out here. It was, it was crazy. And then we had state cops. We had all kinds of people out here. It was just nuts. Um, but they were here, and they, and they took care of it. But boy, it was that was a little scary there for a minute, because a lot of these houses, um, especially on the coast, they're very close together, um, and it could be you know quite bad. Uh, could be very very bad. Um, if one house sparks, you know that's all it would take to. Burned down the house next to you or whatever. So I was glad everybody was okay. But um, yeah, it was a little scary there. That was a couple weeks ago though. Yeah, we got home from the market and oh, the whole, everybody's out on the street. The whole, everybody was out towards our house. I'm like, oh God, you know. So we got down here and uh, I had thought maybe my neighbor, um, you know, there uh, some of these people are, are older, so I thought maybe somebody had a heart attack, or you know, they had ambulances or whatever, uh, which they did. They had an ambulance here too, but um, you know, it just turned out that the the neighbor that wasn't here ended up their house caught uh, caught fire. So, but they got it out. So, okay, I'm gonna let that dry a couple minutes here. You get the shape of it. I think you guys are getting the feel of what I'm trying to do here. We'll see what. Uh, what it comes about, but you'll see it in a second. I'm going to do, um, 
dark ink on this um, line ink. You know how I do the uh, the scratching. I'm keeping this uh, open, but we're gonna because of the text. So we're not gonna be doing anything with that. But we'll be we'll be bringing this in a little bit. Um, very like I said, abstract. Very uh, uh, gritty. Um, yeah, you'll see it. It'll be it'll be sweet once it's when it's once it's there. Uh, but again, it's a. I, I like drawing like this. I, this is kind of my my thing. This is my style, and that's. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Yeah, it's a little bit still too wet. I want to give it a minute to dry. So um, let's see. Yeah, so while that's drying, uh, let's, let me slip back here for a minute. Yeah, so uh, you guys know, you guys already know about my bookshelf, a couple bookshelves. I've got a breaker area here too behind me, but um, I changed up a couple things. I know that I'm going to be, uh, I want to get my, my collection out more because I've got, I'm going to start liquidating some of my antiquated books because I just don't have the room. Uh, I've kept them long enough, I think. So, so I'm going to, you know, look for that because you'll be seeing me, uh, po I'm going to be posting some of my, uh, my antique, uh, collection, um, on, uh, online soon so but you guys can get a feel for uh some of my collection here um and then some of the ones that we're going to be selling too but there's uh yeah it's it's i think that's going to be really great and, and i showed I, I sent a couple people uh pictures of uh actually they made it to the bookshelf but i'm not going to show those right now but they're independence and congratulations guys um, and then I've got, uh, first collections behind me, all the ones that are back here. This is a smaller section, but these are all the, the, the top notch, uh, ones that I collect a lot of the books, you know, from Cujo to all these other, you name it. There's been a, every, everybody from, uh, Clancy to, oh God, I don't even know how many different authors are over there, but, and then of course we've got, uh, we got a lot. What I'm going to start doing as I make a mess here, what we're going to start doing is um, I'm going to start putting up uh, different books every week or so um, on the different collection behind here. It's all uh, more comics. So, but I wanted to sharpen it up a bit so you guys aren't seeing a, a mess. But some of these, I mean, they're just an amazing, uh, amazing collection. Some of these are just, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, Glenn's seen a lot of these too, but, and these are going to be offered up. I know I'm going to be grading some of them, but I know some of them are going to be up for sale too, but, but yeah, it gives a, gives you a feel for the, the, uh, the scope of it all, but I just enjoy it. I like being surrounded by good art and, um, some of it, my own too. Um, uh, but yeah, there's, there, this is, uh, it's a lot of fun for me. It gets, you know, I'm, I'm, and you, you guys don't see the rest of the studio, but it gives you an idea. You guys already see that when, for how many years I've been doing TED Talks and that. Um, what did Eric say about the lint trap? Uh, but also the dryer vent is full. Yeah. You, it um, Dryer vents, dude, are a huge problem with fires. If you don't clean those those vents out all the way through, um, not just the not just the vent in the dryer, but actually the duct, it's, it's paramount. I mean, they've got companies that will come out and actually clean them for you. And I think it's really super super important that that lint can go up like a you know it's terrible it can go up really really fast you got to be really really careful with that um yeah so you guys want to talk comics for a minute while that stuff's drying we've got i mean there's i'm really excited about you know the comics unlimited thing anyway because it's it's such a like i said it's a service to the community too to the uh the comics community but just being able not to not, i'm not bragging about what i've got or whatever but just the enjoyment of the product you know the products that we've we've come to enjoy 
you know, these kind these comics are really everything. Um, when it comes to excitement and everything else on the, on the big scheme of the hobby. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, right. Glenn says, uh, you'll be getting some of my art soon. Cool. Yeah, I'll put it definitely. We'll have it on the wall. Well, I'm going to, I know I'm going to be purchasing a few things too from you, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so I've got a few things in this, this small part of the collection, but at least now I can see them i it's one of the things i don't like having them always in a in a box all the time because you don't really get to enjoy it you know um oh good i'm glad that's awesome eric you know that's one thing that um i've been in discussion right now with a lot of different uh, all the books that i've got uh for for my retrieve books and that they're going to be graded uh but only for special select few uh i'm going to do that for the kids and a few other things like that but yeah Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's awesome that you get them created. I still think you have to have reader copies because we need to be able to read them. Right. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. I think we're about there. I'm going to go back to the drawing board literally. And I think we can get, uh, get the things rolling here. I think it's still a little wet, but I think we'll be okay. So let me start working on a little bit more detail with the, uh, brushes here. I get one of those score pads out. I've got one over there. Do I have one over there? Yep. Appreciate you guys stopping in today. I know it's uh, Tuesday, so it's not not everybody's home and everybody's at work doing their thing.
All right. <clears throat> And a lot of times I want your eye to, to, to make up the, the shapes, you know, I want your, you to kind of put it together. I only know that a lot of, a lot of the artists, uh, Mike Magnola does that a lot too, but and then you can. You can work that through. But I'll draw, I'm going to draw some lines here in that you'll be, you'll understand what I'm trying to do here. Hey, Keisha, how you doing, dear? Really liking uh, the art I've been seeing. Uh, you got some great stuff. Uh, some of that art is just awesome. Loving it. Loving it. I'm going to actually bring in... I've got a... This is a West German pencil, but they're... I'm just trying to get some line in here. Again, I'm just trying to bring in the, the scratchiness of this, what I'm trying to build up here. And I'll do some black lines on this too, but you'll see what I'm trying to accomplish here in a minute. Yep, it is all about learning. Yep. Actually, I might wait on the grid. I might wait on that line work. I'm gonna let that dry a bit. I might. I'm gonna. Uh, I might want to put some uh, dirt on this though. I think. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that. Let me. Um. You guys know what I mean by that, right? So let me just move this for a second. Some of the. Some of the treatments that I do on this is norm. You guys know what I'm talking about. You, you've seen my work. You know what uh, what I normally do with just to build up texture in that. I'm trying to make sure that there's. Uh, I, I'm not. I don't want anybody to be scared of the uh, the effects that you can you can accomplish because 
colors everything. The story, actually, this this story is um, there's a lot of underlying tones that uh, people don't realize how um, how deep the story is because it, it can get really you can really lose yourself in this story. Uh, and in that, the colors that I use um, can be very subtle, but they're a lot of them are they're meant. Uh, with everything, the the color palette that I'm using on this is very, very similar to um, what the storyline is about. Um, like I said, there might be very subtle, there might be subtle uh, treatments here and there, but then there's other treatments that I'm like, oh, okay, and people understand it once I, once I get it, um, once we get it to the point where it's. Uh, needed to be. You'll see what I'm talking about. But like I said, I might wait on the. I might just wait on that ink until the stuff is all dry. Been on about an hour, so. And then some of the stuff too, a lot of people don't realize that the, the, um, the stuff that I do too on this will be, might change. Um, I, you know, I let things dry and then I, and then I see where we're at with everything because there might be something that is really, um, it just strikes me later, you know, that it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. I like that idea. Let's get this wetted down a little bit. How's that camera angle? Is it okay? I know it's not perfect, but I'm trying to get as, I don't really have, I don't want to go completely over the board, but I mean, it's helping. I think it's a lot better than it was, I think, than it was last week. All right, let's get some of that darker color in there. All right. Thanks for stopping in, Keish. Take it easy. yellows in there I think
but then that way it'll have a uh, it'll have enough line or enough area to work with as far as the text goes uh, once I layer it. I might darken it up too on uh, digitally. I'll have to see how it works out. Um, what I what I tend to do is I'll I'll have uh, that option because I think that that's a it's a it's a great way to be as far as the that's a great thing about digital work is you can you can enhance it. I can do a traditional piece and then um, have it altered just slightly a bit, you know. Um, yeah, I think that's that's I, I like doing that a lot. That way I can put a vignette in if I want to darken it up a bit, pull out some other colors. There's a lot of things we can do with it. So, and I don't be afraid to do that either. Don't feel like you're limiting yourself with uh, with any of your uh, artwork. Because I think the people end up, you know, they second guess themselves constantly. And that's the problem with a lot of art because you don't, you let, you don't let the art be, you know. Um, I can't let that dry. Yeah, so you get the the idea of what I'm trying to do. So, and then I'll add some of that uh, ink later once that dries up. It's gonna take a while for that to dry, but at least you're at least you got some ideas of what I'm trying to accomplish on that. And then you'll know a little bit more about the chairman. Not a very nice guy, but I shouldn't say that. He's fair. Think that you'll you'll learn more about him once you read the story. Very fair, but like a lot of uh, a lot of these people in politics, unfortunately, sometimes as you as I'm sure you know now, they have their own agendas. So, but read the story, you'll find out. Cool. Thanks, guys, for stopping in. Uh, it's about yeah, about an hour, so that's good. Uh, yeah, check out everything we're doing on Ted Davies Artistry. I've got a lot going on this week. Uh, we've got uh, Comics Unlimited. It's going to be out uh, Thursday at 10 a.m. Uh, and we will see you there. I know that uh, Feed the Beast, we're recording uh, some stuff this week, as well as uh, From the Trenches of Hollywood. Um, yeah, we've got a lot going on. And so check out everything we're doing. And like I said, if you need any of the vintage comics you're looking for to fill in your, your collection, let us know. Try to have a great week. Do something good for somebody. And I appreciate you guys stopping in. We will talk to you soon. Get drawn.